from KSLA TV 12. Coverage you can count on. This is News 12 at 6. Police have arrested a Shreveport man suspected of drugging and molesting a 10-year-old girl. That story is straight ahead. Good evening, I'm Carl Pendley. And I'm Michelle White, also ahead on News 12 at 6. Summer's upon us and so are the mosquitoes. West Nile's sure to follow. But what's worse for your health? Is the cure just as bad? I'm Bob Burns. That story coming up. Plus, summer is here and the temperatures are climbing. Get some tips on beating the heat, helping you and your pets stay safe. Coverage you can count on starts now, and we began tonight with news of a suspected child molester. Shreveport police have arrested a man for allegedly drugging a little girl, then molesting her. Police say this man, 33-year-old Marvin Keith Council of Shreveport, gave the 10-year-old child Xanax and alcohol. The incidents allegedly took place over the weekend at three different swimming pools at apartment complexes. Witnesses at two of the pools reported what they saw to police. Investigators say when the girl arrived back home, her family noticed she was intoxicated and called police. Council has been charged with molestation of a juvenile and distribution of drugs. In Texarkana today, opening statements and testimony unfolded in the capital murder trial of Robin Riddling. Riddling is charged with murdering Roy Basket. Prosecutors say a spinal cord and a kneecap found in the woods of an East Texas wildlife management area have been identified through DNA as the remains of Basket. Also, a wildlife agent says he spoke to Riddling early one morning near the spot where the remains and the items were found. Investigators have also linked an ax found at the scene to Riddling through their preliminary investigation. On top of that, a witness also claims to have seen Basket getting into Riddling's truck on the last day he was seen alive. DNA tests on samples taken from Riddling's truck have also been linked to Basket. Investigators believe the motive in the killing could stem from a dispute between Riddling and Basket's ex-wife. Riddling's defense attorney says there is a logical explanation for each fact the prosecution is bringing up, and he believes this is a case of bad police work and an investigation that he says was flawed from the beginning. Shreveport City Council just voted this afternoon to discontinue funding to the Greater Shreveport Human Relations Commission. That money amounts to about $125,000 a year. And that commission was formed after the 1988 Cedar Grove riots, formed to ease tensions and to try to improve race relations in the city. Councilman Theron Jackson and Mike Gibson were the only two council members who voted in favor of keeping the funding. General Motors is recalling hundreds of thousands of Saturn L series cars from the 2000 to 2003 model years. The recall affects Saturn's equipped with 2.2 liter engines. GM says there's a potential exhaust system failure that could result in a fire. There have been seven fires linked to the recalled cars, but none of them involved crashes or serious injuries. GM says it will fix the problem free of charge. Transportation leaders and the architects came together today in Shreveport to discuss alternative energy transportation. As part of the Clean Cities program, representatives from big corporations and governmental leaders talked about fleet diversification. With thousands of company and government cars on the roads of the architects, these leaders are weighing the new fuel options. It's a challenge to, to uh to bring these kinds of initiatives in, into an area because there's a lot, you gotta have an infrastructure to be able to support it. So we're kind of starting from the, from the bottom up here. White says it's good to see the amount of interest in alternative fuel transportation. He says it'll take further investment before it's a reality on our roads. And East Texas College is getting ready to grow and grow some more. Currently, Texas A&M or Texarkana offers classes to juniors, seniors, and grad students but it will soon offer classes to freshmen and sophomore students too. This will help the college make that move from a two-year to a full four-year college. School officials anticipate a student body of around 7,500, and they're also hoping to make the campus larger. So that we will be uh, seeking uh, funds uh, from the legislature in future sessions uh, to build a new campus. Uh, we'll be looking at, uh, at uh, developing about 300 acres of land that will be donated to the university 
and we'll be building buildings there. We'll have they to made it a perfect. perfect. Once again, that's some 300 acres of land being donated to help with Texas A&M Texarkana's growth. The warmer weather with the recent rain mean more pesky mosquitoes and the increased risk of the West Nile virus. News 12's Bob Burns joins us now live from the banks of Shreveport's Dixie Garden Bayou, or better known as the Duck Pond. Bob, what's it like? Yes, indeed, Michelle. It's very hot is what it's like. And as a matter of fact, there are bodies of water just like this one dotting neighborhoods all across the Arklatex. So uh, spray trucks are going throughout the neighborhoods of the Arklatex, making sure that they try to get every bug possible. Uh, both Caddo and Bozier say that they're doing everything they possibly can, and the rest, they're just keeping their fingers crossed. The spray trucks are hitting the road, and larvicide is dotting the ditches. So far, West Nile has remained an exotic disease this year, but those in the know are holding their breaths. This season's going pretty good so far. I, I, I don't like to say that too much because I'm scared it could happen at any moment, but uh, so far, so good. Uh, my biggest concern is that we're going to have a massive outbreak all at once. Caddo's doing some new testing directly on the mosquitoes they catch. And on the other side of the Red River, this season, they've started a sentinel chicken program. The birds will be placed in neighborhoods around Bossier Parish and closely monitored. So what's the status right now as far as uh, Bossier and mosquitoes? Well, uh, you know, complaints have been fairly low. We've uh, been spraying for some time uh, the, the entire city once each week, and we just recently did one spray in the, of the whole city in the morning. And uh, we've, that's just a one-time deal for right now, but uh, we're going to continue our evening spraying. And just like every other summer since World War II, spray trucks will be waging a different type of war. Since those summers of our childhood, a lot has changed, including the advent of West Nile here in the United States. And also, the chemicals that they use to spray for mosquitoes have improved a whole lot. When we see the truck go by, should we be more worried about the chemicals than we should be about the mosquitoes, or what? I think you should definitely be more worried about the mosquitoes. Uh, the chemical we use is, a, uh, is what they call a synthetic pyrethroid. It's, a, it's not a new chemical, but it's, uh, it's a little different than the older chemicals, the malathions of the old days. And we dilute it down to, uh, it's, uh, it's not running, we're not using it at its hottest level. Now, McMillan says if there is a problem with chemical sensitivity, as it were, you just have to give their office a call, and they'll make sure that they cut off the fogger before they get to your house. Exactly. They'll still have to spray your neighborhood, but they may avoid the immediate area around your house. Otherwise, uh, just stay inside or wear long sleeves, is their advice. All right. Thanks, Bob Burns, for that report at the Duck Pond. Mighty hot to be wearing long sleeves these days. In fact, Shreveport has seen its first case of heat sickness this year. Shreveport firefighters answered a call for help at this FEMA station today. The clerk says a man came knocking on the window, saying he might be sick from the heat. Paramedics say the man suffered heat cramps. They treated him and took him to Willis Knighton. Well, as he knows, Burns knows, and anyone who's been outside knows, the heat is definitely on around the Arklatex today. In fact, we are under a heat advisory today. Doctors at LSU hospitals say they can treat as many as four cases of heat sickness a day when the weather gets this hot. And here's a look at what to look for. And usually the first thing you see is severe exhaustion and then uh, mental status changes and then uh, just it, it hit, hits people very, very quick, particularly when it gets this hot. And so people usually get overcome before they know it. Shreveport Fire Department stands ready to do its part to treat heat-related illnesses. And as part of Operation Cool Down, all medic units are now stocked with cool Gatorade and get this, chilled down IVs. Senior citizens are particularly sensitive to the heat. That's why KSLA has teamed up with Libby Glass and the Caddo Council on Aging to help keep them cool. So far, the community has been extremely generous with fans for our annual fan drive, but we still need more. With the heat advisory comes a reminder to check on our senior citizens. Sometimes people don't realize seniors don't feel the heat like we do, so they let their houses get much too warm. And so that's, again, if the relatives and the friends can just go in and check and say, Ms. Jones, you know, it's really a little bit too warm in here. Let, let, let's get something moving. Let's get the windows open. You can drop off fans or donations at the station, KSLA, or at any Council on Aging office, Pierre Bossier Mall, or Mall St. Vincent. And it's not just humans who can be hurt by the heat. Summer heat can also be deadly to your dog or your cat. Be sure to provide pets with plenty of water and shade, too. And speaking of water, not all dogs are like this lab. Not all of them can swim. Thousands, in fact, drown each year. 
Supervisors say you need to pay close attention to playing with your pet around a pool and introduce dogs to the water very slowly. According to the American Veterinary Medical Association, dogs and cats are not at risk of contracting West Nile virus, but flea and tick-borne diseases can create problems for your pet and for you and your entire family. Dogs, you might be interested to know, can also get sunburned and they can get cancer. So don't forget doggy sunscreen, especially for the short-haired breeds and on your pup's nose. If your dog has a pink nose, it's at the greatest risk. Gee whiz, there's so much to think, you know, to hey, consider. Yeah, I didn't think dogs could drown. Heat. I thought they always, all dogs it's swam, not, you It's know? not innate with all breeds, apparently. Mm -hmm. All right. For more on how high the mercury is going to climb around the architects, let's check in with meteorologist Ron Young and for Patrick. Looking for a pool out there on the patio and not finding one yet, Patrick. <laughs> uh, Rod, we're working on it. Uh, I am working on finding you some cooler temperatures. We will have those coming in, but in the meantime, we have a few problems to talk about, and we will right after this break. News 12 is brought to you in part by Hyundai. The Hyundai Elantra, a comparison, more standard features, and a more powerful engine than a Honda Civic LX. All for over $2,000 less when comparably equipped. And only the Elantra is protected by America's best warranty. 10 years, 100,000 miles. Looks like we have a winner. Test drive the Hyundai Elantra, nicely equipped for just $11,939 at your Hyundai dealer. See Roundtree Hyundai on Mansfield Road today for great deals on 2003 Hyundais. I really thought we would grow all together. I guess that just wasn't meant to be. They asked at the hospital if uh, she had wanted to be an organ donor. I didn't know what to say. I just hadn't talked about it. If being an organ donor is important to you, talk to your family about it and pass on the gift of life. In the information age, the laws of the jungle still apply. Only the fastest survive. Now you can move up to 20 times faster than standard dial-up and up to two times faster than DSL. Cox Communications High-Speed Internet Access. It's the world's fastest desktop animal. Order today or become prey. Hi folks, I'm Mark Randall with Elder Randall Autoplex and Marshall. It's our summer sales drive and we're heavy duty headquarters. All Dodge heavy duty trucks are on sale with big factory discounts. Two wheel drive, four wheel drive, gas or diesel. Every heavy duty truck in stock is discounted 4,000 off or 0% financing is available. Don't miss our summer sales drive at your heavy duty truck headquarters at El Dorado Autoplex and Marshall. Remember, we're closed Saturday and open Sunday afternoon. You've got your car. And now, your Storm Tracker 12 weather with Willis Knighton Future Track. Well, the patio is a bit toasty this afternoon, but it promises to cool off a little later on. Be sure that you do check on your neighbors, and especially the elderly, and also heat affects the very young and those with chronic illnesses as well. Let's get to something real pleasant right now, and that's radar. And let's show you that center Texas, so close. There is rain knocking on the door. I don't know if it'll make it into town or not, but all those storms or showers, thunder showers to the south, are not gonna make it much further to the north at all. So let's all don't get excited at one time. It will change though. I'll show you in just a few minutes. Right now we have a temperature reading under a mostly clear sky of 93 degrees with 52% humidity. It feels like 102 degrees out here on your patio or maybe at home on your patio. It's 95 right now in Texarkana, 92 in Marshall, 94 in Ruston, 91 in Nacogdoches, but let's factor in some rather impressive humidities and you'll see the Texarkana feels like 104. Marshall and Longview at 102, a little better in center with that rain nearby, only 97. Tonight's forecast, that rain will die out soon after sunset, but we'll wind up with a partly cloudy and muggy night with an overnight low temperature of about 74 degrees. Elsewhere across the area, overnight low temperatures are going to remain very much on the muggy side with 70s all the way around, 75 in Texarkana, Marshall, Longview, 73 in Magnolia and in Dequeen. Nothing going on except high pressure at the surface and aloft, but that'll be sliding to the east and that storm system 
system up by the uh, logo there will head to the southeast. Let's take you through the next 24 hours. A well satellite loop there. Uh, not seeing anything impressive for the Arklatex. Everything is staying well to our south or well to our west. Uh, the next 24 hours, though, will become uh, impressive in a way, taking you from right now into tomorrow afternoon. I think we have a better chance of scattered afternoon showers and thunderstorms. And if we take you all the way on into Thursday, Look at that system. It could get a little bumpy, so we'll keep a close eye on it. Thursday looks to be a wet day. Tonight, though, not wet, or tomorrow, not wet, until the afternoon hour, scattered storms. Overnight, we could see some of the storms moving into the area. Your afternoon high is going to be 93. Elsewhere across the region, afternoon high temperatures, again, oppressive for the most part in the low to middle 90s area-wide. Your next six days are looking a little better after tomorrow because Thursday should be wet. Friday rain ends. Saturday is two thumbs up with low humidities and highs in the 80s. So all in all, it's looking a lot better. And again, I say the weekend is going to be the two thumbs up, Carl and Michelle. All right. <laughs> we look forward to it. Love it when he gives the two thumbs up on the weekend. Oh, yeah. Something to look forward to. <laughs> Thanks, Ron. Texas is getting ready to beef up its homeland security for some local counties. That's thanks in part to a multi-million dollar grant. We'll have details coming up. Plus, NASA officials met today to release more findings of their investigation into the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster. We've had 100 years to celebrate, but now only days remain to save. The final days of our centennial celebration at your Texas Ford dealer. Your last chance for huge savings on all the best cars, trucks, and sport utilities in Texas. Financing as low as 0% for 60 months. Our anniversary cash rebates up to $4,000. The final days are here, so don't miss the celebration. 100 years of Ford and your Texas Ford dealer. to Harris in June for your chance to win two incredible Mercedes convertibles during Mercedes Mania. Use your total rewards card winner at Harris Shreveport or our newest property, Harris, Louisiana Downs. Oh, yeah. You know you gotta get to Harris. Oh, yeah. Visit DallasMetroplex.org. Then, pack up all the family. Save 50% or more on hotels. Time to get away. Hot, hot hotel deals. Set your side from Dallas. Savings of 50% or more. Time to shop and play. Free discount coupons, too. Dallas is where it happens. Big savings, good times. It's not too far away. Check it out today. It's the most exciting destination. The Dallas Metroplex. Dallas, a great getaway. Call 1-800-METROPLEX for details. You want the best values in America? Well, they're here now at the Dodge Summer Sales Drive. Where you'll find our best products. Like the powerful Ram 1500 with an available 5.7 liter heavy and our best deals. Get a $2,500 cash allowance or 0% APR financing for up to 60 months on Ram. All with Dodge's 7-year, 70,000-mile powertrain limited warranty. Let us prove we got the best values in America. Hurry to your Dodge dealer today. Introducing the new Shell MasterCard from City Cards. Earn a 5% rebate on Shell gasoline. That's seven cents per gallon. Then you can use that money to buy more gas. You're still here. Well, just remember, the card gives you a 5% rebate on Shell gasoline and a 1% rebate on all other purchases. Okay, go have a snack. Coverage you can count on. News 12 with Michelle White, Carl Pendley, Patrick Dennis, and Linnea Fayard. This is News 12 at 6. A suitcase-sized chunk of foam that hit Shuttle Columbia's wing is the most probable cause of the disaster. That is the word today from the Columbia Accident Investigation Board. NASA officials say analysis of tons of Columbia debris offers compelling evidence that a wing part was breached during flight, during the launch, in fact, when a foam insulation piece peeled off the external fuel tank. The board continues to investigate possible damage from the foam impact with experiments. The board's final report is expected in late July. 
Now, NASA has said needed repairs of the shuttle should be completed in time for the spacecraft to start flying again late this year or early in 2004. Several East Texas counties will receive a portion of more than $84 million for anti-terrorism equipment and homeland security planning. The grants were announced today by Governor Rick Perry. Local counties that will receive some of the money are listed on your screen. Governor Perry says the grants will help communities buy decontamination equipment, hazmat suits, and other equipment to support their regional response plans. Meanwhile, President Bush insists the hunt is still on, and it's only a matter of time before terrorist leaders like Osama bin Laden and Saddam Hussein are captured. He was joined in that pledge today at Camp David by Pakistani President Perez Musharif. President Bush noted that more than 500 al-Qaeda and Taliban terrorists have been captured, and he credits Pakistan's help in those arrests. The men and women of the architects have played a huge role in the war against terrorism, and they continue to serve on the ground and in the air over Southwest Asia. Through the past two years, News 12 has followed the mobilizations, the victories, and the many joyous homecomings. Be sure to join us Friday night for a News 12 special event at 9 o'clock. We call it toppling a tyrant. Military affairs and homeland security reporter Bob Burns takes a look at the role Barksdale, Fort Polk, and many reserve units played in Operation Iraqi Freedom and the continuing war against terrorism. And Bob Griffin is here in for Linnea Fayard, and you are talking tennis in your newscast today. Uh, we're going to talk a little tennis because I tell you what, Serena and Agassi were in action today at Wimbledon. The sports are in action tonight. And a couple of Shreveport businessmen, Shreveport Bossier businessmen, are negotiating to buy the battle win. Faster. Well, it's a marvelous night for a moon dance with the stars of the world in the night. Night to 315 horsepower, all-wheel drive, and utility when you need it. The new Infiniti FX45. What you seeing didn't start with LL today. Take it from me, Run DMC paved the way with Jam Master J. The K I N G's, Run D and Dr Pepper. That's originality. The taste of Dr Pepper. Dr Pepper. The taste of originality. Salutes individuality. Individual. Gives life personality. Be you, do what you do. Be you. Be you, nothing better than Dr Pepper. Run DMC and Jam. Dr Pepper. You know, my husband Nolan is great at a lot of things. But some things are best left to the experts. If you see cracks in your sheetrock or doors that don't close, call Olshan today. They use the patented cable lock system and they offer a lifetime transferable warranty. For foundation problems, see the experts. Fix it with Olshan. And fix it for good. Lexus ES, an automobile so luxurious, we thought of everything, even special lease and financing rates. See Lexus of Shreveport, Bonjour City. This is News 12 Sports. A few weeks ago, I questioned whether the Bonjour City Battle Wings would be back next year, and if so, would Mike Playman still be the owner? Now, after an off-the-record conversation with Shreveport Bossier businessman Dan Newman, I told you on a 10 p.m. sportscast that, quoting now, a local businessman is in negotiations to buy the team from Playman and assure the return of the battle wings. Now, the word is, something on this could break in the very near future. Now, because my conversation with Newman was off the record and he felt that mentioning his name might hamper any negotiation with Playman, I respected his wishes, didn't use his name. And now Newman and Playman have exchanged official proposals, and it's become public that Newman and another Shreveport Bossier businessman, Jerry Anderson, are negotiating to buy the Battle Wings from Playman. Now, the Battle Wings have a fan base, yes, which for all appearances, though, does not seem to be growing, and AF2 attendance overall seems to be falling. 
So why do Newman and Anderson want to buy the Battle Wings? We believe in this area. And more than a belief in football or AF2, this is a belief that people in this area, when given a choice, will opt for some great, wholesome family sports-related activities for their family. That's what we are going to create. That's the product we are going to create and put on the field. And the first half of the Central Baseball League season is winding down with five games to go. The Shreveport Sports are on top of the Eastern Division. Now going into their game with Coastal Bend tonight at Fairgrounds Field, these sports have a one-game lead over Jackson. Jackson comes to town tomorrow for a four-game series to close out the first half of the season. So it is going to go down to the wire. Now the first half winner does get a berth in the end of the season championship playoffs. With top seeded Leighton Hewitt eliminated in his first round match, second seeded Andre Agassi is now the top men seed at Wimbledon. And in his first match today, he stumbled in the third set, but defeated Jamie Delgado of Britain, 6-4, 6-0, 5-7, For the women's top seed, Serena Williams, it was her first match since her 33 match Grand Slam winning streak ended with a loss in the French Open semifinals. Now eager to put Paris in the past, Williams began her bid for a second consecutive Wimbledon title by defeating fellow American Jill Krabos in straight sets, 6-3, 6-3. Also winning today, Jennifer Capriotti and Justine Hennon Hardine, who beat Serena at Paris. You know, when we think of sailing in our part of the country, we think of sailing a few hours at a time on such lakes as Cross Lake. But that's not the way it is for these sailboats who are competing in the Dambler Chrysler North Atlantic Challenge. Now, they took off 10 days ago from Newport, Rhode Island. They're on a 3,600 nautical miles journey across the Atlantic to Cuxhaven, Germany. Five faster sailboats left a couple of days ago. They'll catch up with the first 58 that began the race. Now, 10 countries are represented in the fleet, including Canada and the U.S. The sailboats eventually end up in Hamburg, Germany, where they'll commemorate the 100th anniversary of the Hamburg Sailing Club. Now, you play a lot of golf. Do you ever sail? No, well, I've been like oh, two or three times in my lifetime. I've been but on one big sailboat, and it was really nice. Only as a, only as a rider, and yeah. you know, occasionally Same here. cutting the jib and you know, when you know, get ducked when the you know, beam went by. But I don't want to go right. 3,000 miles. <laughs> no. <laughs> Me either, not one of those. Mm -mm. I don't even know the nomenclature. Thanks, Bob. Thanks. A final look at your forecast is next. So stay with us. You want the best values in America? Well, they're here now at the Dodge Summer Sales Drive. Where you'll find our best products. Like the Durango SXT, with available seven passenger seating and rear air. And our best deals. Get a $4,500 cash allowance or 0% APR financing for 60 months on Durango. All with Dodge's seven year, 70,000 mile powertrain limited warranty. Let us prove we got the best values in America. Hurry to your Dodge dealer today. No, don't care. Transferring. 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 Kim, you're the customer. What more could you want? One person who could actually help me? Transferring. <laughs> Do we think alike or what? At Alltel, we focus on how well we can answer your questions about wireless, not how fast we can transfer your call. With Alltel National Freedom Plans, you can call across the nation with no roaming or long distance charges. Plus, get unlimited night and weekend minutes and free activation. Answers instead of transfers? She got that right. Alltel. Okay, you're here, and we're here. That's us with the cool green mountains, clear lakes and rivers, relaxing resort towns, and all that. You? Us. See how close? And the best way to get to all this vacation goodness and save a bunch of money is right here. ArkansasHotDeals.com. Romance, history, spas, golf, outdoors, attractions. There's a deal for whatever getaway you're looking for. Just click on ArkansasHotDeals.com. You? Us. ArkansasHotDeals.com. Log on and take off. Look in the rearview mirror. What do you see? Ford's been building freedom for a century. One hundred years celebrate. For one hundred years, Ford has made getting there great, and we're celebrating with three thousand cash back on Ford F one fifty and Ranger, or save long term with zero percent APR for five full years. Plus, there's seven fifty bonus cash for active and retired military. Southern Quality Ford dealer today. Man, oh, man. oh, yeah. Come on and spin it. Oh, yeah. Take it to the top. Oh, yeah. Don't wait another minute. Oh, yeah. You know you got to get to have us. Oh, yeah. Get 
to Harris in June for your chance to win two incredible Mercedes convertibles during Mercedes Mania. Use your total rewards card winner at Harris Shreveport or our newest property, Harris, Louisiana Downs. Oh, yeah. You know you gotta get to Harris. Oh, yeah. Closed captioning on News 12 is brought to you in part by Hyundai. Well, it looks like we are going to have another day of oppressive heat. Let's take a quick look at your six day forecast, though, and you will see that that doesn't last for long. After tomorrow, things go, well, I'm going to say they're going to go uh, uphill. Looking good. A chance of rain on Thursday. We need it, but we need what's coming after that, and that's the cooler weather. Temperatures in the 80s with overnight lows in the 60s and low humidities. You can't beat it, but we will keep an eye on the storms that are moving in for tomorrow night and Thursday. Impeccable timing for the <laughs> rain and the, the sunny skies thereafter. You mm -hmm. bet. All right, thanks. thanks. Leave it to some college kids to come up with a twist on traditional art. After sitting down with firefighters, they came up with a unique way to showcase their interviews. Look inside one of America's most dangerous careers through art tonight at 10. And if you're curious about what makes life at Columbia Cafe in Shreveport so sweet, catch tomorrow's times for Tim Greening's profile of its executive chef, Douglas Gustin, whose pastries are a hit at the Highland Neighborhood Eatery. I've been there once. Columbia Cafe had the pastry? I've had, yeah, I had a muffin. It was huge. Pretty tasty, huh? Pretty tasty. All right, we'll read more about it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And we'll find out more about sports and stuff tonight at 10. Bye. Well, you know, the, the, the mud bugs, the mud bugs are owned locally now. Yeah. You know, and so the question is, would it be financially viable for someone to own the battle wings locally, you know, in this area? We'll find out tonight at 10. All right, we'll look forward to that, too. Thanks. Thank you at home for watching. Until 10 o'clock, you're up to date. Good night. Every